Do you ever worry? I could imagine, it, being that you've been honest, that you've had an affair. Do you ever worry about him cheating on you? I would be, first off, I would be ignorant to say, and everyone else would think I'm a liar if I wouldn't say yes. And I have at times. The way, where I'm at in my relationship with Eddie, I do not, that is not a worry that's in the front of my mind ever now. Um, but it was. No, I wouldn't say that it was often. It, it's definitely creeped into my mind, um, like I think it would anyone's. Mm -hmm. um, and I, speaking for him, I would actually say that's probably one that's creeped into his. So, I mean, you know, so I, and to me, I think we, I mean, we've been very honest and open about that with each other and our conversations about it have only made me understand how much he actually cares as much as I do about you know, being faithful to each other. Were you ever worried that you might get to that point where you would feel like, I can't deal with it, I want to take my life? I mean, anybody, not to, I mean, I think anybody can, I think any smart person would know that that is always a possibility, that you could always get that sad. Yeah. And that. But did you the, think it yourself? Did you worry you might? I worried that that was a possibility. I didn't think that I would, I know I would never. I know I would never. Yeah. So Spitfire. Yes. Your new album. What does the title mean to you? Why did you name it Spitfire? Oh my gosh. Um, Cause I really do feel like I'm actually spitting fire on this record. I mean, I wrote nine of the 13 songs on the album. So, you know, I feel like it's very honest. Um, and it's, there's something about it, there's a humanity about it that has never been on my albums before from me. How liberating was it for you to be able to address all these things in the album? I don't think I even uh, knew I was going to address these things on this record. I think I was still kind of living in it at the time I was beginning to write the record. Um, and you the didn't thing set out to... No, I didn't set out to, like, to be your journey? craft mm -hmm. this as, you yeah. know... I didn't set out to craft this as a, an album that, you know, was my story or my side, you know. Um, what Have I Done was one of the first songs that I wrote for the record before anything was, it was actually while things were starting to happen um, that Eddie and I were seeing each other, but it's, it was written about a friend of mine, but I think I didn't, I didn't realize I was writing it about myself at the time. Um, but I think those lyrics are so deeply embedded into, uh, it was my like it was like a, my my subconscious talking that I didn't really know I, I didn't know what was going on yet but it was when I was writing that song I felt like it's you know very much my situation and how I felt and you know the deep remorse but at the same time <clears throat> I wrote it about a friend of mine. <laughs> if you could say something to Dean today via through that song, what would it be? Well, he he actually heard the song when I wrote it, so um, and he actually knew what it was about before I did, so. Um, but he did he know that you were feeling those feelings? I think he knew I was feeling feelings. I'm not really sure what those were that he knew. <laughs> um, it's a very complicated situation. So hard to put into the <laughs> to 30 seconds. Um, I do believe he, that he knows how I feel truly through that song. I mean, even though it wasn't written about him, it was written at the time. And there's a lot of things that I can relate to our you know, past relationship and the hurt that I went through.